97.5 FM The Game, talking some New York Giants and Jets football here with Amon, Jared, and Matt. So, before we start, how about, what do you think who's going to win the AFC and NFC this season? Um, I My personal pick for the AFC, I think the Pittsburgh Steelers with Le'Veon Bell and Antonio Brown and Big Ben, I don't know who, who's going to be able to stop them. And I really think Antonio Brown's going to go for 2,000 yards. So I think they're going to be unstoppable. And NFC, I have to go with the Cardinals. That defense and those three amazing receivers that they have with Carson Palmer, I think they're going to be unstoppable. I do agree with them there about Pittsburgh. It's uh, If Le'Veon Bell is healthy this season, it's definitely going to be tough to stop the Pittsburgh Steelers. Obviously, Ben Roethlisberger has plenty of experience, and Antonio Brown is, if not the best, one of the most dominant receivers in the NFL currently right now. And uh, also looking at the NFC, the Arizona Cardinals, great defense. However, they choked last year when they played against Carolina Panthers in the NFC Championship game. The real question is going to be, um, can Carson Palmer carry that team to the Super Bowl? Uh, like both Amon and Matt said, I do agree the Pittsburgh Steelers winning the AFC Championship this year. Uh, they're definitely going to be much healthier this year than last year. No quarterback issues. Then with all the major teams dealing with issues, especially Tom Brady and others, uh, it's basically their time to make sure get themselves mentally prepared for the AFC division. And uh, for the NFC division, I still have to agree with him on uh, Matt. I think the Cardinals uh, got disappointed back-to-back -back years, injuries, and defense, and no leaders. So this year, they have to come out strong, maybe third time to charm. Uh, I would say, I would not actually say the Pittsburgh Steelers, you know, missing Martavis Bryant for the year with that suspension. I'm going to go with the New England Patriots, even though Tom Brady's not going to be playing the first four games. I feel a 12-4 record if they can get that. They'll, that. they'll make the playoffs, that's for sure. They'll make a playoff run. I think they can get to the Super Bowl. In the NFC, I've got the Carolina Panthers getting there once again. That just seems like a dominant team to me. Can be unstoppable with that receiving number two. Calvin Benjamin's going to be back this year. He wasn't there for that for the last season. All right, now, Jets and Giants football. Jets, do you think they can make the playoffs this year? I definitely think they can make the playoffs. With Eric Decker and Brandon Marshall, I think they're unstoppable. Plus, Jason Moore coming back, I think he's going to have a breakout year in that defense. Even though they lost Antonio Cromartie, that secondary with those two safeties, Calvin Pryor and Marcus Gilchrist, I think they can make a long run in the playoffs. I'm, yeah, I'm going to agree with you here. You know, we've got Brandon Marshall, third, third in receiving yards with 1,500, also got 14 touchdowns. Uh, Eric Decker, 12 touchdowns, 1,000 yard receiver too. That offense is unstoppable as well. They'll re-sign Fitz, I figure. He'll be able to play, get them to the playoffs. Uh, I disagree. No, no. I, I like to disagree with both of you guys. The Jets are absolutely not making the playoffs because the Jets, uh, their main leader, the quarterback, have been having major quarterback issues lately. Signing of uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick, I'm not sure about that. Then other quarterbacks that don't want to play for the Jets at all. Very hard to make the playoffs when you don't have an official quarterback. Now, me personally, I do believe that the Jets can slide in as a wild card, maybe a five or six seed in the playoffs ever. My main question is, at quarterback, if they do re-sign Fitzpatrick, it's really going to lie as what kind of year Fitzpatrick is going to have. Obviously, last year he had a great year. Fitzpatrick hasn't had many great years for Buffalo, but um, I definitely want to see what kind of year he's going to have. If he has a solid year, then the Jets can definitely slide as a wild card, but if his year is not good and you want to start Geno, then there's going to be a lot of question marks lying around that team. Yeah, and again, we've seen great defenses carry teams with little offense. You know, Denver, not pretty. They had a very bad offense, frankly, last year, but that fantastic defense carried them. The Jets have been building up their defense since 2010. They've used only their first round picks to pick defense. You know, they got Darren Lee this season. Yeah, I also think with getting younger linebackers and getting a new running back, I mean, Chris Ivory is great, but Matt Forte, I mean, he can get you a thousand yards rushing, a thousand yards receiving easily, I think, because I think he's the most versatile back in the league right now. Even though he's a little bit older, I still think he can put up numbers like he did three or four years ago. And I think with Matt Forte, that offense will be unstoppable, and I think Geno Smith, if he is the quarterback, I think he can have a good year too. So, a lot of people are doubting the Jets, but I don't know. I would, I wouldn't, doubt, I wouldn't count them out. Yes, he's definitely going to be a workhorse for that team. Matt Forte coming in, great signing for the Jets there. Just once again, Ryan Fitzpatrick, can he have a great season? All right, moving on real quick, Giants. Do you think they'll show any signs of improvement this season? Yep, defense looks good, but I don't think I don't know if they can make a long run in the playoffs. 
defense is great for the Giants. They obviously signed Janoris Jenkins and uh, Oliver Vernon to a huge deal. The only question is going to lie if they've definitely centered their offense around Odo Beckham Jr. for the past few years, but um, their second receiver, Victor Cruz, he should be coming back this year. If he does come back, will he be the same as before? Not really sure. Uh, drafted Sterling Shepard in the second round. He could be good, but it's only his first year as a rookie. Help the Giants, maybe they'll make a playoff uh, run for this year and try to improve, especially with a new and improved uh, NFC East division. So we'll be looking forward to the season. Yeah, I think they can maybe go 500. No chance of playoffs, though. Anyway, that's all the time we have this time, this week. We'll see you all next time at 97.5 FM The Game.